Hi guys, I hope this video finds you very happy and healthy. I want to thank all of my new subscribers. I'm just so blessed to have you coming back to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And once again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing to me. Today's book is Llewellyn's Little Book of Halloween by Mickey Mueller. This book came in over the weekend. thought it would be a great little read. You know, for the next couple of days leading up to the big day, Samhain, or Halloween. And I am enjoying the Llewellyn's Little Book series. I have quite a few of them on my wish list. I do have one other little book. And it's the Llewellyn's Little Book of Dreams. And I have already done a video on that if you want to scroll down and find it. But today we're looking at Llewellyn's Little Book of Halloween. It's very Halloween-y, don't you think? I'm absolutely in love with the color palette. Of course, orange and black. Who wouldn't be? Here's a little bit about the author, Mickey Mueller. Mickey Mueller is a great writer and artist. She put out a book a few years back called The Witch's Mirror, and I won a contest on Instagram where I won a free copy of The Witch's Mirror plus a mirror with the cover of the book, which it has been changed now. I have the original cover of the book on top of the mirror, a cloth bookmark, and a big, it looks like a book jacket that she signed. It was really great, but this is the little book of Halloween. So, let's look at it. There's your table of contents if you want to pause, screenshot, look at it, and see what it has to say. In this book, she also includes exercises that you can do to make your Halloween or Samhain more intimate and special to you and or your family and friends. There's a second list of exercises. Oh, just do this. Then she has tips. Now we're to the introduction, which was absolutely adorable. I read the introduction. It was discussing her life when she was trick-or-treating growing up in the 70s. I can sort of relate to that as I was raised in a very Southern Baptist home. We were not allowed to trick-or-treat, but we did go to Halloween carnivals or Halloween parties, haunted houses, what have you, that the church did. So that was my trick-or-treating I guess you would say later on in life I went trick-or-treating with my daughter and it was awesome <laughs> this particular page I love it as scared as we were it was fun to face our fear the rush we got from overcoming that fear was empowering like we had looked into the actual realm of spirits and faced a real danger Coming out triumphant. I just loved that. I thought it was great. Imagine my surprise when I discovered that Samhain began at sundown. I discovered that ancient Celts and modern witches honored their ancestors and beloved dead on this night. And that even in ancient times, people wore masks and strange clothing to confuse any harmful traveling spirits. Here we have Halloween throughout history. Halloween's agricultural link. Festivals for the beloved dead. The first jack-o'-lanterns. 
Guy Fox. I believe they did mention this also in the Llewellyn Sabbath Essentials for Samhain. A New World. Mischief Managed. This is an example of tip one. Tricks and treats. Tip two, postcards from Halloween past. Rediscovering Samhain. Next, we move on to creating a haunting atmosphere. This is so cute. It's don't dust away your cobwebs. Keep them so you don't have to put up fake ones. I love it. Here's another tip. Halloween on a shoestring. Halloween decor things. movie theme from what I'm seeing in this book so far a lot of it is about decorating themes history um, ideas crafts there are charts and well let me find a chart to show you for an example here is some symbols of Halloween. They mention ghosts, skeletons, bats, witches, of course. Black cats, owls, cauldrons, the basics. She also mentions scarecrows, ravens, and crows. Of course, these are, of course, signs of Halloween and um, associated with. And jack-o'-lanterns. And here is a tip about pumpkin seeds. Here is an example of an exercise. This is Pumpkin Carving 101. I'm going to show you what that looks like. In this particular section, she was discussing witches herbs bottles. Oh my, witches herb bottles, and this is an example of a chart that she has. Kitchen herbs. There, I can't read it through the camera. Kitchen herbs. The old witch names. We'll zoom in, silly. And their botanical names. And there's a few charts like this throughout the book. Oh, how funny. Parsley is <laughs> devil's oatmeal. Okay, that was just great. She discusses tea leaf reading and Ouija boards. I love Ouija boards. I have an Ouija board itself, plus I have two angel boards boards and I might show them one day on this channel my angel boards are absolutely beautiful and I truly love them here's an example of a spell apple eating spells they use apples a lot for divination and spells during Samhain in the old days and of course Nowadays, we bob for them, candy them, caramel them, and, of course, use them in spells. Practical Magic. I love doing research and discovering more about the world, history, and magic, and I have found a plethora of magic that was used back in the day on Halloween by all kinds of people with different belief systems. She and I have that in common. 
I love to research all different types of religions. In fact, I don't exclusively stick with just witchcraft. And I love to study them, research what they did, you know, saw how it worked for them. This book is a great little book. It gives you lots of ideas to how to Halloween your home, Halloween your get-togethers, Halloween your parties, and just Halloween yourself if you just want to be just solitary on Halloween as well. I'm going to enjoy reading this little book. This is what the back of it looks like. I believe I paid um, $10 and change for this book after shipping. Well, no, I don't have shipping, but with tax. So, yeah, this is one of the Sabbath, yeah, one of Llewellyn's Little Book series of Halloween by Mickey Mueller. If you made it through this video, you are a trooper. I apologize for the flubs and the mispronouncing. It's just been one of those days. And I hope to see you guys again really soon. Bye for now.